All right, in this video, I'm gonna be finishing up the CR500 motor. Throw it on the top end. First thing is to install the cylinder studs. Make sure to use anti-seize on the threads, and then using two nuts jammed together, torque these two nine foot-pounds. I always like to apply grease to the gasket surfaces. And then using Maxima assembly lube on the wrist pin. And then as you slide that pin through, there's two retaining clips that click into the piston that I forgot to film that part. There is a correct orientation and correct way to clock the rings when you put them on. There's just a little notch inside inside each of those channels. Make sure you make sure you get a clock correctly. So right here I've got assembly lube on the inside of that cylinder. I'm just trying to hold those piston rings on the in the compressed configuration. Slide the cylinder down and over. And then the cylinder mounting nuts get torqued to 29 foot pounds. The head studs, which thread into the cylinder, get torqued to 9 foot-pounds each. And then the head nuts, make sure you put those on, thread them on by hand, and in a star pattern, slowly approach their torque value, which is 20 foot-pounds each. All right, onto the stator and flywheel. Install the stator with two six millimeter bolts and tighten them to 84 inch pounds. Next, install the wood drift key onto the crankshaft. Slide the flywheel onto the crankshaft. Don't forget that little washer. Install the nut and tighten that to 40 foot pounds. The countershaft sprocket gets torqued to 20 foot pounds. Torquing the flywheel nut would be much easier with the engine installed in a bike, but I just wanted to get it done, so I just squeezed it with some channel locks. You'll need to torque the ignition cover bolts to seven foot-pounds. I actually can't believe that I was able to do this. This was a lot of research, a lot of studying, and a lot of finding the correct parts and making sure that I was doing it correctly. But what an amazing journey. And in the next video, I'm gonna be taking this engine and putting it into an aluminum frame.